and an ability. Dodge roll. Very important you learn how to master both uh, dodge roll. It'll save your bacon a lot. Yep, and he's keeping track of the journal. Okay, before we leave, I am going to customize and set... Okay, good. If you hold in R... Which, which R was it? There it is. L2. You'll bring up your shortcut menu for... This. And here's something exceptionally important. A Trinity Marker. Sora, Donald, and Goofy can perform various Trinity moves besides these marks. So here, you want to move down to Trinity, activate it, and this one teleports you up the... up here. Which, there's a treasure chest. Open it up and we get another postcard. There are several different types of Trinity marks here, so we can't... but we can't really get all of them yet. It will not open, there must be some sort of secret to opening it. Uh... If I'm not mistaken, all the cannons have to get pushed out. Is there a particular order? I can't remember. Okay, I, I know there's a trick to this. I just can't remember what it is. Alright, I'm giving up on that for now, but there's a trick to it. Uh, over here we've got an item shop. We can pick up things like potions and other items, obviously. Run by Huey, Dewey, and Louie from Disney. But if I'm not mistaken, if we attack up here, there's another postcard for us. There are a total of ten postcards in all that you can find throughout the town. Uh, but as of right now, I don't think we can get all of them. But if you put them in this mailbox, you can get the items. One gives us a cottage, one, another one, two is a mithril shard, and three is a mega potion. That's all I've got right now, but now we know. Uh, back to this. This was the shortcut for the um, magic menu, so you can assign certain magics to that particular... to certain buttons, and you'll be able to use them at will. Uh, here, we just smack, smack the safe. We can open it up and now. Inside is another postcard. There's a few others every, uh, elsewhere, but like I said, I don't quite know them offhand. We'll get to them if we get to them. It would be in your best difference, interest to gather as many as you can, though. As, um... Ugh. That words. As items early on are quite useful. Now let's see if I can get up here properly. Nope, missed it. Oh, come on! I'm not a huge fan of the camera controls. There we go, got that. Up here, here, and this chest contains... a Mega Potion. Alright, anyway, I was heading back to the 3rd District. Mm. Anyway, now that we have fire, we can head over here to the 3rd District. Uh, but first I want to go up here because... There's a blue trinity mark right here. Inside is money, and... Doo -doo 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 -doo, a camping set.
Anyway, if we come over here, you see this door. See ya. We just cast fire on it, and we can Bye. now enter. Something you want to be no wary of. These stones will move out of your way. And if you miss the stones, you will have to uh, go back, uh, swim back and try again. But here we've got this house. If we go in through this little hole in the wall, we see nothing. A bunch of nothing. There's something about this musty place. Except another hallucination. It reminds me of the secret place back home, where we used to scribble on the walls. Remember? Anyway, the actual proprietor of the home, Merlin, from Disney's The Sword in the Stone. The king has contracted his assistants to help teach us about magic. It'll be very important that we come back here later. This is a good... He will bring us up to a little special place where our MP will not deplete and we can practice our magic. When we talk to him. But that's not why I came here initially. The actual reason I came here... Besides the fairy godmother over there... Who will also help us later on. is another trinity marker. It's a little bit of a tight fit. But inside we've got we get money and a mega ether. Which fully restores our magic. And we have a save point here. From this save point we can go to the gummy ship. I'll do that shortly because I just remembered I didn't show you guys about abilities. We have to equip your abilities here, and for each ability you equip, you lose some of your maximum AP ability points. But the dodge roll is exceptionally useful, as we can now dodge out of the way. Anyway, I'm gonna save here. And head to the gummy ship. This is technically our overworld. From here, we can move to any world that we have available on this marker. Now, we could go to this world, which is battle level 2, which means it's harder than this world, which is battle level 1, but we're going to go here first. We're going to try and do things in a linear order. Now, my favorite part of the game. We actually get to pilot the gummy ship. Oh, the controls are inverted. I'm gonna need to fix that. As of right now, I'm not doing very well. Now you can hold in and just rapid fire everything. But what you want to do is blow things up. As you blow things up, you're able to get more, more pieces for your gummy ship. And yes, you'll be able to build your ship and make it the best you can get it. Now you see, we've got power and armor. The power is for our powerful weapons. And right there, those little orbs that had the sketchy thing on it, like right there, you see it right there? That's a blueprint. That'll give us blueprint for the silk ship, it said. This piece is a gummy piece that gave us a protect gummy slant. 
Anyway, the power in the armor, that's the power is the magic for our weapons. Basically for missiles and everything else, and the armor is self-explanatory armor. Anyway, it's important that you destroy as many as you can, so you can get as many gummies as you can. If you run into anything, like the borders here, you take damage and lose! And yes, I did do that on purpose. Anyway, since we collected a few gummies, I'm going to go to the Gummy Garage. Skip the tutorial. This is where we build our gummy ship. Our, this is our inventory. It has all of the blocks we just collected and such. Or, I don't think we just collected. But no, it is. This is our gummy ship. Since we won the race, our gummy ship was actually named the ship we, that we got. But if we, this is where we can change ships to other blueprints and things we, get, we have. But I'm going to tweak the ship a little bit. The more gummies you have on it, the um, words... Uh, the more armor you get. Come on. And, it's, it, and it works in layers. So you see here, we have layers. This is a weapon gummy. Thunder gummy. Gee. Uh, do I have any other weapon gummies? It doesn't look like I do. But that's alright. Yeah, we have no other weapon gummies. We've got some other little gummies. No, no? Okay. So we didn't actually get anything. Everything we have in our inventory isn't what we have on the ship. So in other words, um... Come on. You have to clear the level to get the gummies you pick up, as well as the blueprints. So let's try this again now that I've explained this rather un rather poorly. Come on, die. Blow up. Blow up. You're not gonna blow up, are you? Those shield pickups increase re uh add back to our armor. Anyway, these ships that we're fighting, these enemy ships, are very weak. They won't fire back, but you can run into them. If you destroy enough of a ship, if you're lucky, you'll be able to get this ship's blueprint. Now, uh, let's see, what other buttons can I go over? Triangle does nothing at the moment. Square is your brake, so you can slow down. It'll help you aim better. And you can just hold in your main weapon for rapid fire, which is what I'm doing now. And I can promise you, the aiming does get better. Ish. Honestly, the only way it gets better is if you add more, wep more weapons to your ship, so you can just spray and pray. And I can assure you that these levels will get a lot more interesting. Anyway, we're coming up to our next world. Welcome to Wonderland. Disembark. Not my favorite place in the world. But you gotta start somewhere. Oh, Goofy. Oh, my poor missus! I'm late, I'm late, I'm late! <laughs> oh, dear.